everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are going to look at efficient building. Now if you have already spent a couple of minutes on the console version you may have noticed that sometimes building can feel a little slow and a little hard to do. But I'm gonna show you some ways today how to improve your building, how to actually speed up uh, your process to really make the areas look like this in front of you um, a lot easier and a lot quicker. And as you can tell to the left uh, hand side over here, oops that was the wrong combination, um, we are having some problems in our Zoo, which we're going to tackle in this tutorial. So we are actually going to build a little veterinarian station with a bit of a plaza in front of it and some nice fences in hopefully somewhat under half an hour. And I'm gonna teach you how to do this. As always with my tutorials, this will be laid back, chill and easy. We are having no cuts. We are just going to follow along each other step by step so you will be able to rebuild this uh, on your own and you may not be frustrated by skipping parts that you don't understand what exactly happened. Now let's start with the very first bit that is already more or less um, prepared in front of you. If you haven't seen my full-on three and a half hours all-in-one tutorial, you A have missed out on something and B may not know the idea of prefabs, okay? So prefabs is my first tip in this tutorial before we actually get into building. Um, I'm gonna click really fast on this one over here and you can see some of the pieces highlighted are well put together and this is one of my prefabs I have been put together at the very beginning to use this one and basically spam this all over the place as you can see. However, it doesn't look that repetitive because I used the technique of prefab plus random rotation. What do I mean by that? I'm gonna really quickly do this again so you get the idea. So what you're gonna do first is go to the nature tab or whatever you want to build. You can also do this with rock formations or with some clutter or whatnot. It all works together. And you know what we do actually to show you how versatile it is. I'm gonna show you exactly what we are doing because we have some locks that we can use. So Let's go in here and actually check some of these uh, pieces over here. So we're going to throw in an African uh, thing over here. We're going to put a second one next to it. Don't worry, it's going to be good. And we're going to take the third one over here. And let's see if we can find something else for that. I feel like, you know, one of these uh, African air plants can be used as well because they bring in some versatility. I'm just going to quickly paint uh, the ground so you can see that a little bit better. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly go to the train paint. Um, and then I'm going to use something like, for example, the short grass. Um, because obviously uh, I want to see where the stuff is laying down and want not to be, uh, you know... Uh, kind of uh, d distracted by the way the grass looks. So what I want to do is I want to pile them together as some kind of logs that lie on the ground. I'm going to start with the big one over here, use the uh, dial menu to go to the advanced move, and I'm going to first of all move it over here. Uh, let me just grab it over there and then just go to the advanced rotate and I want to just uh, tilt this over until it's laying down on the ground. There you go. It can actually go a bit into the ground. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then I'm going to use the other piece. Oops, I should actually check the right one. So it's going to be this one. And actually, advanced move is only used to be uh, rotated real quick because I want to actually... Ah, that should already be okay. Advanced move. And then let's go again to advanced rotation and take it over here. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to disable the angle snap for this one. So I want to bring this over a little like so. Advanced move. And then I'm just going to bring this a little bit to the back. There you go. Let's select the other one. This one over here can actually actually stay the way it is, I guess. Uh, we have to rotate this a little. Oops, that was wrong. Let's really quickly undo my stupid action here. There you go. And just do that. By the way, if you don't know what redo undo does, is basically it redoes or undoes the last step you did. So if you, as I, accidentally delete something, totally not uh, intentionally, you can bring it up back there, like a little special tip from me over here. But we will now go again to the advanced move and advanced rotate. And now we're going to rotate this thing until I'm very happy with the angle. I think this angle somewhat is nice. And then uh, I actually, I want to stay in here. Just going to go to this one and just pile it up over here and last but not least we're going to use this one and bring this just as a you know as a tiny bit of uh, detail to it advance rotate rotate this a little so that we have a good angle i think this is a good angle yeah that's a good angle and oops and i did it again my god uh 
After two days, I'm starting to become rusty. What the hell? So, uh, advanced move, and then we're gonna go and do... You, you may think this is gonna turn long, but don't worry, it's gonna be good in a second. So, we're gonna do this real quick, and uh, switch the axis, and now I'm just gonna go and do it this way. Awesome. Now, you may think, oh my god, he's already wasted five minutes or so. No, I haven't, because now we are going to use the multi-select tool, and we're gonna select everything, confirm the selection, go down here and group this together. Now, we've got a group, and what the group does, basically, it exists as one piece, more or less. So if we're gonna copy this one now, uh, which you can do by duplicate and move, you can see I have this, and I can just simply rotate this real quick and put a couple of these right next to each other, and we have a couple of things. But like rotating is actually still too much of work, so we don't want that. So what we can do is we go inside of the group, you know, and once we're inside of the group, just keep uh, A, or in your case on the PlayStation X, hold down, and then you'll be able to just multi-select everything, confirm that. And now it's very important that you have uh, random rotation activated. I think I have that, so we're gonna go into this mode, or oh, I have it not. Okay, so actually what we wanna do then is, before we do this, if you don't have random rotation activated, you click on a piece, and then you want to move the piece and you just say, for example, uh, advanced move. It doesn't matter. And now what we're going to go is go down until you find random rotation. Turn that on. Click once to confirm. And now what we want to do is just select everything again. And now um, once you have selected everything, this is very important, confirm it. And once you've done that, you just duplicate again. And now you will see the game automatically rotates the piece for you. And I mean, you know, this may look a little bit odd over here, but you can actually go and throw that into your habitats. You know, just, it always uh, aligns to the ground. So we're just gonna go throw this here, and another one goes here, and another one goes there. And I'm gonna show you an extra trick in a second. Um, and I'm gonna roll it down. So all of these look a bit odd because they're placed a little bit high over here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna select only those in the habitat here. So we're just gonna move all over those. And once you're happy with the selection, just, uh, you know, uh, oops, I this yeah, well, I, I was about to say, once you're happy with the selection, confirm it. And then what did I do? I didn't confirm it. So I confirm it, and now I hold down Y to bring up this menu, go into advanced move, and I'm gonna look for the Y axis because now you can actually go to one of those to see it a bit closer. Let's just zoom in a little so we see that. And we move it slightly down, just very carefully. You know, so that it's sticking in the ground a little. So not floating, but just actually a tiny bit in. You know, just, there you go. You know, it's sticking in a little now, and it's a bit more clean. So, that's done. We are already done, okay? So, very simple way to just duplicate these pieces. And now, obviously, this looks a little bit odd. So, you know what, we're just going to go and copy this one over and rotate this ourselves. You know, just a couple of those, just to kind of bring this over and we've got a couple of things there and just to make sure that this looks better you know um, we can now go to terrain and we can actually go over here and look a little bit for sand maybe or you know what no we're gonna go for soil and then I'm gonna reduce the intensity uh, quite dramatically because I want to just have a little bit of soil below here just to make it look nice okay there you go nice look at that we've we've done that and now usually i would just throw a tree or something in to make it not look too repetitive but we very quickly can cover some ground okay but that shall not be it this was just like the first little trick the second trick is going to deal with building actually so i'm going to delete this tree in front of us because this is where the wet will go um so first things first we're just going to go to facilities and then you want to basically navigate to your staff facilities and in here obviously uh, first of all let's just disable the blueprints because oops uh, i don't want to see them so i'm going to go to blueprints off awesome press b and now click all so we can go to the vet and the vet basically is where are you there you go so i'm going to bring this over here rotate this a little so we have it to the front so in the shadow of the tree, that's actually nice. We can cover up this nicely. Okay, so we've built this. We just need one. This is fine. Um, and before I do anything else, I will put down the path, okay? Because this is the first thing. Before you want to build anything to be efficient, you put down the path. However, 
I want to have like a little circle somewhere and um, I'm gonna show you something that you may have not seen and I did not even include this in my tutorial I figure. Um, this is also a way of efficiently blend things together. So what you can do is uh, you can first of all select this building and then you will go into the building by selecting down here you will find select group. You click that one and once you're in here you just go down and select enter group edit mode. Once you've done that, you will see that to the top right there is a yellow outline and a little flag occurring. This means you're inside the group and you're good to build because everything you build now will be part of the veterinarian station. Now, what we want to do first is we want to reduce our grid size. At the beginning, uh, you need to click to the right hand side first and then you can reduce it. Don't ask me why, but this is the way how it works. I wanna leave it to two meters first, that should be fine, and grid height to a half a meter should be fine too. Okay, once you're happy with the settings of this, we wanna go and look for some pieces that we can actually use to show you the trick. So I'm gonna go to construction and to keep it fairly simple, I'm gonna use the search because I know exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna type in mud because the mud thing will be one of your best friends in the game anyways. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select the mud column 01. That's the easiest one to use. And I wanna have like a little circular pathway around it. And this is why I'm gonna put, you know what, I'm just gonna go and do that here. That's fine. Just gonna put this, that should be a good spot. Because that's, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, now I put this down, everything is fine. And what we want to do now is we want to navigate out of the building. Very important bit, because now as you press B, you will see you're out of the group, the yellow outlines and the flag are gone, and you hit B again, you're basically back in the main menu. What we want to do now is we're going to go to the path and click on path. And now what you can do before you do anything, hit the radial menu and select the grid. Now you can obviously select a grid of a path, but you can also select the grid of a piece. Look at that. And by doing so, you ensure that you are on the exact same grid as the building. So you will not have all the pain that you sometimes have um, to, you know, just try to meander the path exactly to your building and make sure it's properly aligned or whatnot. And if you play this game, you know exactly what I mean. To avoid that, you're just basically using the grid. And look at that. You can just beautifully put these things down. And we are just about to do exactly this because I want to have like a little bit of a planter in front of our veterinarian station, which A, will be good to cover up a little bit of the vet station and B, actually in, uh, improve our overall rating of this building and C, make sure that the building has not too big of a negative influence to our guest. Now, what I want to do is I want to find if there is one more. Okay, well, these two will be placed. And now what you want to do, you just select to connect the pieces. Very simple, you know, nothing major. Just select these ones. And uh, as you may have learned in my tutorial, we could now go and smooth these things out, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Just give it a bit of a more smooth outline. Let's see if I can do it here too. There was something appearing. Maybe I can. Oh yeah, I can. Look, look, let's do that. There you go and smooth it out. Awesome. So that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Okay, fine. We've done this and now this pillar also has a second very good use. We can now enter the building a lot more easily because we now can just click on the group itself and now we just need to go here to edit it and we don't need to select the group first of all. Just as a little bit of a background information, um, while I go out to show you, if you click on the vet station, the game will always bring the vet as a facility up first because this is usually the case what you need. The first thing you need to have is the, the, the facility and its usage, okay? And then you need to go all the way down and blah blah blah, select the group. And this is the way um, or the, the reason why I put down one piece before I start building, just to simply access the group a little bit more quicker. As you don't have the hotkey you have on computer, it's a bit more easy to access the group. It's like a little bit of an efficiency tip. I mean, this is an efficiency tutorial, so this is why we are focusing on it. What we will do next is we are going to kind of uh, look into the building style we want to go for first, and then we are going to look into the kind of fence style I want to go for for our little planter in front of here. Okay, so first things first, um, we need to decide what kind of style we want to go for. And for this tutorial, I want to keep it fairly simple. 
and we're going to go with a very classical brick modern style for the building, okay? Uh, which has like a bit of a nice shelter next to it, some slate roofs, some, some, something very simple, okay? Um, maybe something with like also a bit of a glass piece to it, just to make it a bit more modern looking, you know, but we, we are going there, okay? So, in this specific case, we are talking about efficiency. We want to build with the grid as a help, but also make it detailed, okay? So what we want to go for this is we're going to go first of all to the construction. And when you are in construction, the most important bit is that you start with the grid piece. You can distinguish the, the grid pieces by these nine dots to the top left in the icon. And we are going to actually start with a mud piece over here. Why not? Uh, you can rotate this by 90 degrees. And in my specific case, I want to not build in front of the door or the window. I want to actually build next to it uh, over here, just to keep it more simple. And the next bit I'm going to do is I'm going to actually... And I'm not sure if I can do this here. I think I should be able. Yes. Um, I'm going to close the menu. So we look in front of here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and change the... Oops, that's the wrong one. I'm going to change my camera from the standard mode into the explore mode. I'm going to drop down just in front of here. There you go. And now you are in the explore mode. Another efficiency tip is if you build something a bit more intricate... Also, by the way, let me just pause the game because I actually made sure that our animals are having a disease but we do need a vet and stuff so they don't die in front of us, okay? So, um, for efficiency reasons, go into the explore mode. This is a tip solely for console because on console, this will ensure that you're not flying around randomly with your camera because in explore mode, you're basically glued to the ground, which is a good one because that helps to keep the overview of what you're building. So, in front of us, you can find the mud, uh, the mud thing. And now we enter the group again. And we keep on building from over here. First things first, I want to change the color because I want to create a bit of a different look uh, for concrete. So I'm just going to do this in gray and going to confirm this. And from over here, we want to keep on building. So what I want to do next is I want to build like a brick wall on top of, on top of it. So we're going to go and change the search term. As I said, we're going to go and use this. So I'm going to type in brick and as for the tutorial i'm not going to make it like super crazy detailed so i'm going to use some brick pieces for the entire thing now i want to continue with the um grid pieces however i'm going to do like a little bit of a trick here which you will see why i'm doing this so um first of all let's go out of the filter and what i'm going to do as a trick is there is a specific piece as you can see and this is the brick wall shop front over here this is one of the one i'm going to use and i'm going to throw this right in front or behind this one. In my specific case, also, why is it not? There you go. Um, in my specific case, I'm just gonna see that I can, as you can see, by the way, now in building, I'm not even able to move around, which is kind of good, um, but I should be able to just uh, disable the piece real quick and I'm gonna go around to find the right spot to put it. So actually you cannot really put it behind, but you can put it inside of the piece, okay? Then sometimes you have some texture flicking, but in my specific case, I'm gonna go in front of the piece. You will know in a second why. Okay, so disable the whole thing. This is the wall. I quite like it. There is uh, not really a gap in between. It's just like that, that little bit of a piece that is in between. Um, and what we want to do now, as this is already covering four meters, as you can see, this is the total height, so we don't really need to go any higher. Um, I want to use this piece and just duplicate that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deselect the piece and select this piece in front of me. And what we're going to do is duplicate. And now we're going to bring this thing uh, upwards a little, which we can't do from over here. But if you hold down X, you're going to bring the piece up. And we're flying with it. I didn't know I, we did. We can't even go down. What the heck? Okay, well, this is, this is odd. Uh, I've never seen this. So maybe we go out of... This seems to be like a little bug what you incur in uh, the explore mode. So maybe you don't copy that in explore mode. I'm very sorry. I haven't found out that this seems to be a little bug. So um, normally you should stick to the ground. If you use no grid pieces, this is also no big deal. I'm going to show you in a second. But just for convenience reasons, we are just going to copy this piece uh, and bringing this up. As you can see now, the camera movement is a lot more gentle to us. Okay, so what I'm going to do, put it here just to have like a bit of a nice uh, thing. and. But as before, I want to go back into the explore mode just to showcase that this actually works wonders. Now we're going to go in here. Um, 
And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to use a non-grid piece, which is that one over here. And very important is that we do turn off the random rotation now. This is very, very important. And then select the piece again. And as you can see, now it's sticking to the uh, piece over here because I have uh, put on the add to building and also position snap. Um, the position snap rotating is sometimes also very helpful to make sure that the piece itself is already in the right orientation. Um, but I'm gonna turn it off and I wanna definitely say align to surface. And now, as you can see, the piece is perfectly centered to the piece in front of us. This comes in very helpful because from over here, we are going to take it over into an actual piece that will help us do some detailing. For that, we're going to open the advanced move and then we're going to switch to the advanced rotate. And this time around, we make sure that the angle snap again is turned on. I'm gonna go to the red axis over here and we're going to flick this thing over until it's totally perfectly vertical. Then we go over to the advanced move. We're gonna bring it down until it's not sticking out to the top anymore. And then we are going to choose to go to the side, okay? So we're gonna go for the right axis, a red axis, and we're gonna bring it almost perfectly into the center here of the piece. Don't worry, it's all gonna make sense in a second. Okay, wonderfully placed. And now what I want to do with this piece is I wanna bring it forward a little um, to keep this thing a little bit nice looking in the whole context. So what I'm gonna do is, oops, where's the piece? Uh, did I not choose the right piece? Which, which, cheese, which, which piece did we choose over here? Let me just see that one. There you go, it's highlighted. And now go to the advanced move. There you go, this is the right axis. Go to the Z axis. And now we push that forward a little. And that is sweet. That looks, that looks totally fine to me. This is the front. So we're going to keep on detailing from over here. Um, so very simple stuff now. You can now open the menu whenever you go. And we're going to see if we can find anything nice here in terms of bricks or so. There's not really that much in. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go and say we're going to put this back to solely stone. Because that should actually give us a lot of stone pieces. Um, and they will be helpful to kind of style this the way we want to. So let's say stone, very nice, say confirm. Now we have a couple more items uh, in front of us that we can use for detailing. So what I'm gonna do is, oops, what, what did I say? There you go. Um, I wanna use one of these wonderful, let's go over here, one of these wonderful pieces, the breeze block base trim, that is a good one. So I wanna have this tied to the wall and once this is aligned perfectly for me, um, as you can see down in the ground, it looking good. Um, it's exactly the orientation I need. Sometimes you need to see where it is. From over here, hold down Y to enter the advanced move. Let's bring it all the way up first of all, and then switch a route over here, bring it to the front, look. And there we have it. We can have a little bit of a nice detail here. As I said, I'm not gonna do too many, but I'm gonna center this real quickly here. There you go. Press B to just move around. Is that centered? Yeah, it's kind of centered. And now let's go and see if we can find any other detail we want to use. There are some very cool classical pieces I want to use. Um, let's say we're going to use the classical balustrade thing over here. Look, it's aligning perfectly for us. So what we're going to do... We're going to hold down, again, advanced move. The reason why I'm always going into advanced move is to ensure that we keep the exact orientation and then find the piece that it aligns with the piece on the side. And now what we're going to do, we're going to bring the whole thing up. There you go, just look up a little. I think this is a kind of nice idea to cover the uh, the roof that is com coming in in a second. So actually, you know what, we're just going to bring this down. And then what we're also going to do is we bring this to the front once more, just like so. And what we want to do now, and we're almost done already with what, what, what we want to do. Uh, trust me, we are getting there. Now, the only piece that we are missing out on is a wonderful roof. So, the roof um, it comes in as a uh, grid piece again. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the menu, press B until you're in the main menu, go to architecture, go to roofs, and then you can actually go to pitched roofs. And then you can see in here, oops, uh, I switched to the wrong side. In here we have got a couple of clay roofs and there you go, we've got the slate roof. And we are going to use this one over here, the slate roof, one meter double pitch. I'm gonna show you why in a second. Um, because it's well, kind of short, why is it not in the building? Are we not in this building? Oh, we are not in the building. It's, this is my mistake, I'm sorry. I thought we were still in the building, but we are apparently we are not. Why are we not in the building, by the way? 
Okay, well in this case, if we for whatever reason didn't... Look, we made a little mistake over here. We didn't add the pieces to the group. This is actually a very good tutorial moment. That was not intentional. However, there's an easy way of bringing this together. Just hold down A to have the multi-selection. Select everything together, confirm, and then you will see there's an option to merge them into a group. Just confirm. Once we are done, just press B a couple of times. You're back in here. And now what you want to do is you want to edit the building and we're back in and now we can back go back to our roof select that one and you can see almost perfectly fine we are there um, we're changing the grid size here a little there you go uh, and we're going to change the height settings and now we can move it up and down as you can see i almost hit the perfect I actually hit the per look at that. I hit the perfect uh, spot for our trim. However, I want to make it a little bit lower. So let's just lower it down like this. That is actually nice. And what we're going to do now is we're going to. Uh, I'm sorry, I should have stayed inside of the building. We are actually going to zoom in and select these two stone pieces we've just built. So we're just going to zoom out, lower the camera a little. One. And I had to do multi select. Hello? B, press B to multi-select. Uh, can we just deselect everything first of all? Thank you. Thank you, thank you for too kind. And let's move down the camera. There you go. I just want to make sure that I enter this one and switch over. Uh, okay, let's go to this one. So there you go, these two. And now we can just move them down. And trust me, it's worth all the work, okay? So there's the trim. And now, stay in the group. This is that, and this may look a little bit odd to you, but trust trust the process, okay? So we are almost done already with the build. It doesn't seem like that, but I said in almost ha under half an hour, we are not quite getting it done, but almost. And if you, you know, take the prefabs out and some of my little mistakes I did, it's well doable as soon as you get up to grips. Now, what we want to do is multi-select again. So hold down multi-select on this part of the building. And here's also the reason why we made this next to the building, okay? So what you want to do, first, of all is take the whole thing uh, oops you should definitely confirm the selection first um, you confirm the selection and now with this wonderful tool you're gonna say move because now you can first of all check if you selected everything yes you did okay perfect now you're gonna bring it down to the height that it is correct for but now what you want to do is bring it away bring it away from your build okay just so that it is almost uh, what kind of so far away that you don't accidentally hit it because what we want to do now is we want to take this selection over here again you know just select everything and now you don't move it but you actually i should confirm it first um but you actually duplicate that and now you bring the duplicated piece back to the ground and now you can actually stay to a four meters uh, thing that's totally fine and now what you want to do is just spam this thing around and uh, in this case, I need to actually go and change the grid size. So we have the same momentum over here. And then we're going to rotate this around. So there you go. One and two. And now you could go on like that. But as we are lazy, we are doing something even better. We're going to select everything we have in here. Just everything. Just paint radically over it so that you have everything selected and then you want to switch over to the deselect and just deselect the veterination station that's the only thing we don't need confirm the one thing and once you have selected everything like this you want to do the magic duplicate again uh you need to bring it down one step to match the height oh well not two one and then the beauty becomes the shoulder buttons just click them twice and then the only thing you need to do is to bring that in bam look this is this is this is sweet look at how our vet station all of a sudden looks i mean over here i said uh, we may actually bring some windows in um obviously this doesn't look perfectly fine because there's a window there isn't we're gonna fix this in a second um but just to showcase okay this was just like to showcase how this works so what we're gonna do over here we're gonna select this piece and delete it same goes for that one and what you want to do now is relatively simply in the menu, uh, you're going to go back in here to the wall pieces and in the wall piece section, go to arches. 
because that's where it's in. Um, and once you are in, oops, in the section, you're going to look for the brick piece that we need. Um, so I think, oh no, wait, it is not in the arches. It's actually in the uh, wall pieces selection. Not sure why this is, but uh, there's also a gate piece over here, a brick wall. There you go. And we can just snitch that in here. Uh, just make it double wall. That's fine. And so we have that. And as you can see, the slate roof needs also a little fix. We're going to quickly do this. And just gonna do this and we're gonna go for the pitch roofs um, and as I said we have a slate roof so we're gonna go back to the slate section and since we have used this um, slate roof double pitch one meter we need to use the same thing as well however we're gonna use this corner piece if you've watched my tutorial you know exactly what I mean and what we're gonna do we bring it obviously up to the same height as our other pieces you know and then as it's uh, set to well, we need to bring it like this can we actually bring it now into this right height? Okay, we need to bring it to 0 0.5, uh, 0.25. There you go. It's a little bit finicky sometimes. There you go. And now just copy this thing into the corners. So just to make it look flawless, okay? Um, and as you've seen, the building, like the preparation takes a couple minutes. But as soon as you have done the preparations and you have put the pieces in the right spots, it's just taking you a couple seconds to assemble the buildings. Surely you can also go and make this a look a little bit nicer by bringing it in some different angles, but what we already did is we changed already the overall look of the building by adding uh, another layer here to the right, because what we are gonna do now is, we're gonna go back to construction, and we change our filter from stone actually to glass. What we're gonna do now is to glass. There you go, that's one, let's do that again, uh, because I'm not good at typing, so G-L-A-S-S, -S, hit start, there you go, now we have the glass pieces, um, we need to actually go back in the menu a little to just go to the main menu, um, and just one more, main menu, and select all, now in this menu we can look for some cool things to use, and there are a couple of pieces we could use in here. I'm just going to check which one I like the most. Um, because there are some, some semi-translucent ones. I mean, you could use these ones, the um, opaque ones, because that may look kind of cool too. You know, actually, you know what? We're going to do this real quick. Because I think this is a good technique to just hide away what we have. Like almost, ah, yeah, I thought it was a little bit translucent. You know, no, I don't like that. It's a tutorial, I know, but a little bit of aesthetics should be should be uh, kept. So let's use the modern uh, glass wall over here. I think this one looks fairly good if we have certain things peeking through. Like this, this is the frame we have peeking through. And what we do now is we are going to go and have a, a modern glass wall in between. I think we also have this as a, yeah, there you go. This is a grid piece, then we can use that one. Look, there you go. Now we've got a perfect window. You could surely go in and make this interior part now look good too, but let's scrap that for a second. You know that this is also doable the same way. And just to showcase how you can do the fence in the front, um, it basically works pretty similar to what we've done, but I'm just going to quickly do this. Uh, we're going to go to construction again, and you know, we're just going to do this right over here with a modern glass wall. However, there's one trick you want to follow, and I'm not sure if this one, there you go, this piece has a, does, does the other one have it too? I'm looking for a specific piece, this is very important for the tutorial. If you've seen the full tutorial, you know that trick already, but for those of you who don't want to spend three and a half hours, which I could totally understand, I'm going to do this a, an extra bit over here. We're going to take this one, and this is this kind of a little L piece over here, okay? So this L piece is becoming super relevant to us. Honestly, uh, first of all, I want to change the color. I don't really like the white color. So let's go to this one. I placed it down already and confirmed the color. Well, whatever. Um, and we're going to use the piece again because we need to uh, rotate the piece. And we can't obviously rotate this again on here. So we need to just exit the building go to the advanced move and then also ensure that you go to the rotation because that is relatively important to you too. Um, and then we rotate this over here. But you know what? I want to go for the advanced rotate um, or oh, advanced move first of all. Just move it into into the path over here. You know, and it, to actually, you know what? We, we, that, that is way too complicated. This is way too complicated. And another thing to show you, um, if you want to build a new building and you want to stay on the same orientation, 
Here's a little expert tip. First of all, let's delete this piece. We don't need that. And let's go back into our group we have over here. So what you want to do now is uh, group select. And we're going to take the exact same piece. And now we are already perfectly aligned to our path. Wonderful. Okay, press down. It doesn't matter. Just make sure it's down. And then you want to select this very piece over here. It's very important. Oh, go back into the group. My mistake. Go into the group, select this very piece in front of you. Now, first of all, let's change the color again because I'm annoyed by the color yet again. Just do this and confirm. And now what you want to do is you want to select the piece again and go to this door icon over here, which is called split from group. And we want to do this right away. So you've done this. Awesome. Now you've created a new group because every single grid piece automatically creates a new group. Once you've done that, you can start building from over here, which is exactly what we are doing. We're going to enter the group. And now to keep things fairly simple, I'm just going to add one more piece to it just to showcase what you can do. You can obviously detail the thing as much as you want. So what we're going to do is go over here to the selection, say wood. There you go. Wood is fine. Press A to confirm. And then um, we're going to select a piece that we, we feel like is good for the build. And in my specific case, I want to have this African decorative strip over here. It is perfectly aligned because we still have the settings we had before. So we're going to go right away to advanced rotate. Make sure angle snap is activated. Just going to rotate this this way. And then I'm going to go to rotate this this way because I want to have like kind of a little uh, thing on top of it. And then I just move this thing exactly what I was just saying to the top. There you go. It looks a little bit better if you have it on top. So if you want to be more precise, go go a little bit closer to where you're moving it. Nice. And now you can see I need to move it a little bit further to the center. Sweet. I have done this. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm using this piece is very simple. I'm going to show you in a bit. Now, what you want to do, obviously, as always, select both pieces, confirm it. And from over here, you can say duplicate. And what you will see, they will create something with a gap in between. Reduce the grid size to 2 meters, and you can see they are closer together. How nice. Look at that. <coughs> and you can now put them all in between. And I'm just going to do this real quick. So we have the wall. Uh, there you go. And there is the other one. Now we have the perfect wall created, but hold on. What is that down here? Well, there's one piece sticking out. We don't want to. The reason for that is because you are a lot more versatile with two meters than you are with four meters. So if there's like a corner like over here and you rotate the piece around, let me just quickly show you. So we are going to basically uh, select these two again. And now you would be to um, copy them again and you want to rotate them. And let's say this corner over here isn't as big as it is, but just very much... Oh, actually, I can show it over here. Uh, look, if we would have four meters, it would be this piece and up until here. But since we use two meters, you can now fit it in exactly perfectly fine. Over here, actually four meters would have been fine because, you know, two meters, four meters, and yet again, we've got eight meters to cover. Um, and then you can see the problem is the piece is sticking out slightly, but that's not really that much of a big deal because we can just actually group the whole thing and then move the group down. So, uh, oops, that was the wrong group. I selected the wrong group. I was just moving the vet down, which is not what I wanted. I wanted to move this one down, so advance move, and then just go, make sure to the y-axis, and then go and move it into the ground, and our fence is done. Look at this, and now as we did before, we can just go over here, select one of the pieces, say duplicate and move, bring that over here. So just throw that one in. And once you've done that, you can actually edit this group if you want to. Just go inside of the group and then obviously multi-select everything, confirm it, and then, you know, duplicate and move. Just rotate the whole thing a little to your liking. I think this is fair. There you go. And then, you know, as I said, just maybe go to to nature yourself. Find one piece that kind of makes sense to you that would fit in nicely. So in my case, a palm tree obviously wouldn't. But in my, my case, you know, I like, I like this beech tree quite a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to this corner. Because for the thumbnail, we need to see the building. Okay. Once you've done everything, you just uh, leave the group as always. And once you're there, you can just, again, do advanced move and then move it down a little bit if you want to make it hide a bit in the ground. 
done. The only thing we need to do is select this building over here and get rid of our little helper, helper piece. There you go, and we're done. So it wasn't quite under 30 minutes, but if you consider that, you know, I've talked you through also, real quick, as we are with it, we, we can just do that. Obviously, you can see that already, what I forgot, but this is not really a big deal. We'll go to construction, and then let's quickly move into the roof section and say flat roofs, and then you just look for a flat roof that you like. In my case, the vertical wooden, whatever. Just move that up so you have this nicely. There you go. And you place them down just to have your roof. I mean, I did a little oopsie with this, but yeah. So here goes nothing. Awesome. So we've done this and everything is built. Let's go B, 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 B. And we're going to put uh, real quick our cinematic camera over here to have a little outro. So scenic mode should be fine over here and uh, let's leave the spin please at two and one and go now i really hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial about how to build more efficient you can see now we did a tutorial on how to do the groups i explained a couple of things along the way um i ensured that you understand it all wisely and nicely and whatnot and we still have only taken like 35 minutes for the entirety of the thing and you can obviously tell the more used to it you get you can do something like that easily in 15 minutes the reason one why this is good is because you use the grid and you use the controls wisely in this game try not to really get caught up into all the detailing left right and so on make sure you build yourself a prefab and use the grid to just copy it around that's the whole trick that makes you so much more efficient and once you master that you'll find this time to go into the very nice details and alter a couple of things left and right so hope that was helpful and um, if you want to know more about planet zoo in general or tutorials on the game stick with me make sure to sub to the channel there's a lot more coming in the future in terms of tutorials in terms of inspiration and obviously all my series will go on so I see you over there, I guess. And now have a wonderful day. Thank you and goodbye.